Hey y'all. So, you know, there's a lot of information out there on the interwebs about how to actually create a lead magnet in Canva or Illustrator or Microsoft Word or any other program. And that's awesome, but first you really need to know what you're creating. What is your content? So today we're going to talk about five, plus a bonus, things that your lead magnet should do to help you build your list with high quality leads who are champing at the bit to work with you. Okay, number one is a big one, and that is to solve a single problem that they are currently having in their business. Now, a lot of business owners seem to be worried that their lead magnet won't be perceived as valuable enough. And so they try to cram it full of all kinds of information, right? The more, the better. But that's not true with lead magnets. It can actually kind of turn off your reader if they get a PDF that's 60 pages long and they're like, I don't have time for this. So the best way to avoid this quicksand is to focus on one single problem that your ideal customer is currently experiencing and create a solution that solves that single problem. Even better if that solution leads them to your next offer or service, but that's another video. So let's look at an example. Let's say that you are an SEO expert. You help people optimize their website for search engine optimization, right? Okay. You serve business owners who want to increase their website traffic through SEO. That's awesome. Now, you are an expert, so you know so much about SEO. You could create a lead magnet that goes into great detail on, say, search schema, right? But does that solution solve a problem that your potential customer is actually experiencing right now? If so, then that's great and it'll be a very valuable lead magnet. But if they're not there yet, if they are not to the point where they can even be thinking about search schema, no matter how amazing that lead magnet is, it's not going to be valuable to that audience. On the other hand, if your potential audience is really just trying to figure out SEO and how to get started, you could create for them, say, a simple checklist simple being the key to help them quickly and easily optimize, say their blog posts for SEO, solves a problem that they're currently have them having, and it gets them a result. And it shows your authority in the space. And the, I, the whole goal behind something like this is to help them understand that SEO is an important part of their marketing strategy but they can get started themselves with this simple checklist. So number two is all about your lead magnet getting them results. Now look, we know that data sells, right? And if your potential customer can get a quick result from your lead magnet, it will help establish your authority as an expert. Obviously, you know your stuff because they got results from it. It will help them trust you, which is hugely important and it will help them more, more likely take that next step with you, whatever your next step is. So think about ways that you can package your lead magnet to help them experience that result that they're wanting to get. Even if that result is something, I don't know, less tangible, right? Like increased confidence. Even just having that, that checklist there will make them more confident in their ability to write a blog post that is going to nail the SEO and is going to get my name and my content out there. I'm going to feel more confident publishing, even if I haven't seen actual results in my blog traffic yet, because we know SEO is a long term strategy, right? So results are absolutely key. And the quicker they can see those results from your lead magnet, the better. Okay, your lead magnet also really needs to align with your business and help lead your potential customer up your value ladder through your services. When a potential customer is first introduced to your business, they may not know you from Adam's house cat. 
So it's really important that you position your lead magnet as that first step in a process that you can fully deliver on. For example, I have dozens, maybe hundreds of screenshots of Facebook ad copy. For many years, I wrote Facebook ad copy with a very prominent Facebook ads agency. But I don't really offer that as a service now. I did then, I don't now. So even though I have those great resources, they're not the best lead magnet for me because I don't offer that service, nor do I help them go on to say run Facebook ads, right? That would be great for a Facebook ads manager or something like that, but it doesn't work for me as an email marketer. It's also a great opportunity for you to show how you are unique and different from your competitors. Number four is to reflect what people are actually looking for. Now look, I'm not great at economics, but this is pretty simple. Create what they need and they will buy, right? You, but if, how do you know what they're looking for? Well, there are a ton of great tools out there that you can use to understand what your ideal customer is searching for, what their problems are, what, um, what keywords they're using, etc. So tools like Answer the Public, which was just acquired by Neil Patel, apparently, Keywords Everywhere, KW Finder, Google Trends, and TubeBuddy is my favorite for YouTube. But they all allow you to search for the most common questions and topics that folks out there on the internet are searching for. So you can answer their problem with your solution but you have a treasure trove of data right at your fingertips. Think about your own content. Which of your emails have gotten the most click-throughs? Which of your blog articles has the most hits or comments? Which of your Pinterest pins get the most traffic? Or your YouTube videos get the most comments and get the most views? Which of your social media posts have gotten a lot of engagement? By creating a lead magnet that really solves a problem that people are asking for a solution for, you'll not only serve more people in general, you'll grow your email list with the kinds of people who need your services right now. And what more could you ask for than high quality clients who were ready to pull out a credit card, right? Number five is to have, is to create a lead magnet that has a high perceived or actual value. Now, sometimes that's hard to measure, right? You know, an email address, someone's email address is a direct line of communication to a potential customer or client, right? So they're not going to just give it away willy nilly. Well, some of them might, but most likely they are going to be careful about who they share their email address with. And they're not going to give it up for something that doesn't seem valuable. So that's another reason that understanding their real problems and creating a solution for that is so important. Choose a problem and create a solution and a format that has a high perceived value or even actual value. So what's the difference between perceived and actual value? Well, perceived value is kind of that intangible, that value that your customer assigns to your lead magnet, right? So it's how valuable it is to me as a customer, and it might not be valuable to someone else, right? So that's perceived value. Actual value is actually something that you can give away. Um, something like a free software trial or a discount coupon or a voucher, something that actually has monetary value. You see this a lot with e-commerce shops where they will give, you know, if you send your email or your phone number, they'll give you a 10% discount right then, right? Very common. So whether it's perceived as valuable or it actually is value, it really de valuable. It really depends on how relevant it is to your audience, to your, their pain points and to the solution you're providing, right? So. If I don't, if I'm not interested in purchasing something, a discount coupon for a product that I don't need doesn't really have any value to me, even if it does have actual value, right? And finally, this is bonus number six. I really like lead magnets that are consumable quickly and easily. When we have a problem, we want an answer as soon as possible. Please don't make us wait. That's why a lot of businesses like to use recorded or evergreen webinars as lead magnets 
because they don't have to wait on a live webinar to get a problem solved, right? You can have it right there at your fingertips. Very convenient. In a similar vein, think about your audience and the kind of time they have on their hands. Now, here's an example. A new mom with a newborn who is not sleeping through the night probably doesn't have the time, energy, or brain space to read a 100-page ebook to help her figure out how to make bath time a more pleasant experience. Ain't nobody got time for that. She needs something that's simple, that's easily implementable, easy to follow, and something that she can put into action quickly. Like, say, a checklist or maybe even a playlist of calming music to play during bath time, right? Whatever it is that your ideal customer can get some real value out of, that is what you need to create as your lead magnet. Consider their pain points and the results that they want to get when you're choosing the type of lead magnet and the type of, of delivery or I guess the, the, the medium of your lead magnet. So there you go. There are six things that you can do to, or to, that you can use to plan out your next lead magnet so you know it will be a winner. It will solve people's problems. It will make them trust you. It will help them uh, see you as an expert and it will help you grow your email list with highly qualified leads. All right, hit that like and subscribe if this was helpful. helpful. Drop me a comment and I'll see you next time. Thanks.